Good morning, how you guys doing? It's Mike back with the thought of the day on October 3rd, 2024. First, I want to give honor and praise to the Elohim of Israel for giving me the strength and the wisdom to bring you this message. Then I'd like to open with the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. May your will and my mind be done. Today I want to talk about how us being, how us being, um, trying to avoid being uncomfortable stunts our growth. When we tr when we avoid being uncomfortable, it stunts our growth. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with uncomfortable situations actually helps us grow, because when you're dealing with something uncomfortable, you feel that you feel that uncomfortable feeling in your gut. And a lot of times we try to avoid that feeling, that that queasy type feeling, but that's actually the moment where we're growing, where we're growing emotionally and where we're growing spiritually. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, and I brought out a couple instances to talk about when we do that. You get what I'm saying? Like, for instance, most beasts, most long beasts start because, and last, not start, but last because Two men are not willing to have an uncomfortable conversation. Once they have that conversation, which usually take five to ten minutes, everything will be stated. Most most matters will, will come to an end. Or even if they uh, agree to disagree, both men are stated how they fell and they can move on. But the, the fact that it's uncomfortable for, for, for one man to apologize... And it's uncomfortable for that other man to forgive him that they they continue to hold that grudge because they don't want to deal with that uncomfortable feeling and not understanding that uncomfortable feeling is how you grow. You know what I'm saying? The next one is being accountable and apologizing to your spouse. Sometimes I know for me, even when I'm wrong and stuff, I know that feeling it, it that 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 brief uncomfortable gut feeling that comes when I have to tell my wife yo my bad i did this and that and sometimes as humans we don't want to feel that feeling not understanding i'm growing spiritually because the most high sees that I'm, I'm i'm accepting accountability and i'm repenting for what i did but we don't like that feeling so we try to avoid it man we try to avoid that feeling which carries the beef and then it turns into pride our pride is we don't want to feel that. We got too much pride to feel that humbleness, that 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 broken feeling, that uncomfortable feeling of knowing you're wrong, and you gotta apologize. You know what I'm saying? Then, when you go out and you gotta make amends for people that you, that you did wrong, you gotta go find those people that you ain't talked to for years and to walk up to them and tell them, "Yo, man, back in the day I did this to you, I did that to you, I apologize." That's super uncomfortable. But that's how we grow emotionally. That's how we grow spiritually. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's how we get more humble and being able to serve the most high. But that uncomfortable feeling that we feel in that nature will have us not wanting to make that amends. Because we don't know how that person is going to respond. You're feeling nervous. You're feeling nervous in the gut. You're feeling all of that stuff. That's the growth. We got to get past that point so we can get to that next level. The next one is speaking to a counselor or a therapist about things that we went through. Most of us are saying, man, I ain't telling nobody my business, this and this and blah, blah, blah. But it's really the uncomfortable part of opening up to talk about those old wounds, to take those scabs off and this and that nature. Not understanding once we open up, we got to we gotta peel that scab off to, to let that wound heal properly. And the growth is once we start talking about it and talking about it, it has less power. It has less power over us and inside of us. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's us avoiding those kind of situations is why um a lot of a lot of us walk around traumatized and not knowing what to deal with that trauma. And we take it out with addictions, including sex, alcohol, drugs, gambling. Um, we take it out physically abusing somebody. We take it out in all different types of ways, and that could be avoided if we just wanted to 
deal with that being uncomfortable in them sessions and talking about what we want to talk about. Going to recovery meetings, um, especially in our community, um, the we 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 don't like doing that because I know it's uncomfortable. You walk in there and you might be the only person of your race in that meeting. But that uncomfortable feeling right there is going to let you be able to understand. And if you sit there, you'll understand that addiction has no race or color, creed, or uh, money value, economic value. It doesn't matter where, where you come from and this and that. Addiction is addiction. And you can grow and learn if you're just willing to be uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? And next step is to go out and share that experience and everything you went through in your life with other people to be able to help other people and many are uncomfortable speaking in public because they get up there they get nervous and once again that feeling comes in the gut but once you start doing it you'll start seeing your growth and you'll start seeing that spirit working through you if you have the holy spirit in you and you start getting better at it you know what i'm saying and it's even uncomfortable when you think about it to work out and change your diet but we both know both of those things help you grow it help you grow physically. It help you grow mentally when you're doing that stuff. So in order for us to grow, we have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. And that's where the, the problem comes in because a lot of us out there, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting better at it, and I've suffered at this for years. A lot of us want to avoid being uncomfortable. And that's the, the main thing of why we use drugs, alcohol, sex, all these other things to escape. Because we're feeling uncomfortable at the time. So if we can just understand and be able to bear through those uncomfortable moments. You know what I'm saying? Mine right now is high stress level. I have to be able to bear through that and deal with being uncomfortable when certain situations happen. And not being all mad and upset about it and just being able to pray and get through it. It's a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? So when I, when, when I want if you're watching this video to look at yourself today and ask yourself like how many uncomfortable situations have I been avoiding and how could I have grown in those situations how many uncomfortable situations have I been avoiding and how can I grow in those situations this is Mike enjoy the rest of your day shalom